Folks, the Biden administration just reinstated a federal policy that will give researchers your tax cash to do research with the remains of murdered babies. It's insulting and inflammatory, and it sheds light on a longer standing problem. Hi folks, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. And if you've seen a few dystopian movies or read some of those kinds of books, you're likely aware that characters often cannibalize parts from old technology. They use old gears, repurposed generators, and strip parts off cars in order to eke out meager existences in worlds gone wrong. Well, the Biden administration just reinstated a federal policy that will give so-called researchers your tax cash to do that with the remains of murdered babies. A world gone wrong indeed. According to Dr. Susan Berry, writing for Breitbart, Biden's Department of Health and Human Services on April 16th announced its reversal of a Trump administration ban on internal federal so-called research using aborted fetal parts and announced reversal of the Trump policy of so-called strict ethical review of what are called extramural, usually college recipient grants for so-called research review that would detect whether there was use of aborted fetuses. Quote, the announcement refers to the fact that in addition to ending internal research with fetal tissue from elective abortions, the Trump administration applied a rigorous ethics review protocol in considering funding for research outside of its department, both of which the Biden-Harris HHS is overturning. End quote. Entitled Update on Changes to NIH, National Institutes of Health, Requirements Regarding Proposed Human Fetal Tissue Research, the government announcement notes the previous Trump administration policy. Quote, on June 5th, 2019, HHS announced that NIH intramural research that requires new acquisition of human fetal tissue from elective abortions will not be conducted. Simultaneously, HHS announced new requirements for documentation and review by an ethics advisory board of extramural research applications for NIH grants, cooperative agreements, and R&D contracts proposing the use of human fetal tissue obtained from elective abortions." End quote. And the Biden HHS announcement notes previous Trump administration actions that were taken to implement that policy. Quote, on July 26, 2019, NIH issued NOTOD 19128 to inform the extramural community of the details of the requirements, which applied to new competitive applications submitted for due dates on or after September 25th, 2019, and R&D contract proposals submitted to solicitations issued after September 25th, 2019. On August 23rd, 2020, NIH issued NOTOD 19137, clarifying instructions for competing applications. On December 23rd, 2019, NIH issued NOTOD 20053, announcing an intention to convene an ethics advisory board. But all of that is in the bucket. Aborted, you might say. This is normal. I don't know, I've never been in an abortion clinic before. For clarity, intramural refers to an actual branch of the NIH called the Intramural Research Program, IRP. And its official website reveals that it's not something esoteric or small. In fact, the IRP boasts, quote, with approximately 1,200 principal investigators and more than 4,000 postdoctoral fellows conducting basic translational and clinical research, the IRP is the largest biomedical research institution on earth. The largest on earth, not sanctioned by the Constitution, completely, completely contrary to human ethics, unbelievable taking people's money against their will. And the Office of Extramural Research, OER, at NIH, tells us this at its tax-funded website. Quote, OER provides the corporate framework for NIH research administration, ensuring scientific integrity, public accountability, and effective stewardship of the NIH extramural research portfolio. It oversees activities related, but not limited to, high-profile digital platforms, grant compliance, 
peer review, communications with the extramural community, scientific misconduct, human subjects protection, and laboratory animal welfare. Which is kind of like a group of mafioso telling people they're creating very upstanding protocols to manage the expenditure of their expropriated cash. As Tara Sandra Lee, PhD, and James Shirley, MD and PhD, reveal for the Charlotte Lozier Institute, these two so-called offices are part of a massive anti-human tax and spend bureaucracy, the size of which few of us serfs actually might be aware. Quote, as part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, is the primary agency responsible for funding medical research. And they write, the NIH invests approximately $41.7 billion, that's tax dollars, annually into biomedical research, of which the majority, more than 80%, is awarded for extramural research through competitive grants to more than 300,000 so-called researchers at more than 2,500 universities, medical schools, and research institutions throughout the country. A smaller portion of the NIH budget, approximately 10%, supports intramural research conducted in its own NIH laboratories and through contracts with other universities." End quote. Yet in both areas of research, the Biden NIH's intramural and extramural branches will have no strict safeguards to stop my or my neighbor's tax cash from being used to pay for research using parts from aborted fetuses, to pay for human research based on cannibalism, the use of parts taken from murdered people in order to be used in therapeutics for other people. And as they make their policy change that implicates all of us in this ethical evil, the Biden NIH has the gall to write this, quote, NIH reminds the community of expectations to obtain informed consent from the donor for any NIH-funded research using human fetal tissue, NOTOD 16033. Informed consent from the donor. The child, not the mother, is the donor, and the child never gave informed consent. The child never got the chance to speak, never got the chance to live outside the walls of the abortion chamber. The child was harvested as if the mother's womb was merely an incubator for a special ingredient needed to further America's great scientific progress. This isn't progress. This is evil. A culture of death masquerading as therapeutic and life-saving, and a society forcibly infected by a government that claims to help the many by harming the few. And that is unethical, and internally inconsistent. 18th century philosopher Immanuel Kant tried to explain to people that even if one were not a believer in God and his commandments, a system claiming to protect the group by harming the individual was self-defeating because the hypothetical group was composed of all of those individuals and therefore such a so-called protection system actually threatened all of the individuals it was claiming to protect under the title of the group. But don't expect anyone in Biden's NIH to acknowledge this or the fact that logic commands us to realize that human life begins at conception or to see the upside down ethics of forcing people to pay for research that utilizes human parts, or to admit that even if there were no aborted children involved, the US Constitution does not sanction anything at the Department of Health and Human Services, let alone the billions spent at NIH and injected into politically influenced universities all over the world. The people who wrote the so-called constitutional rules for the operation of the corrupt federal leviathan cannot protest. They cannot speak beyond their original writings. And the scores of children wiped out by abortion cannot speak at all. But we can. And we can ask others to do the same as we do.
especially as the Biden administration plans to take more of our cash to implicate us in cannibalistic so-called science. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm really glad you're here. If you're watching on YouTube, please remember to like and subscribe. As we always say, I'll see you in the comments section. Please join us over at Rumble as well, where all the videos are housed. We'll see you on Facebook. We'll see you on Parlor. We'll see you on Instagram and TikTok and on Twitter. And I am on Gab, at Gardner Goldsmith on Gab. And if you get the opportunity, please remember, MRCTV.org is the central focus where you can find everything that the team is doing there. And if you want some great items, please visit MRC-Store where you can support the MRC and get some really good T-shirts, mugs, all sorts of neat, neat merchandise that sometimes tweaks the lefties out there. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.